Hello and welcome back to Cloverness. My name is Michelle and I'm here today to do the Goodreads tag. I was tagged very kindly by Lydia to do this tag and I'm really excited. I love Goodreads. I use it constantly. Let's get right into the questions. Question number one asks, what was the last book you marked as read? For me, that was Unstoppable by Liz Banks, which I read on my Kindle, which means I can't show you the actual book itself, but it is fantastic. I really love all of the books that I've read by Liz Banks before, and they're all kind of companion novels to each other. The first was Irresistible, and then Undeniable, and then Unstoppable, and it covers this like a similar group of characters, um, and this time it was focused on one particular teenage girl called Rosie, who's very much a warrior and she goes to live with her boyfriend in Oxford for the summer and gets up to all sorts of different things, really questioning her relationship and her future and honestly I laughed, I cried, I cringed, just it was a really really emotional book for me and I loved it. Question number two asks what are you currently reading? I'm not currently reading anything, but I'm going to start The Diviners by Libba Bray. This is a book that I've had on my shelves for a very long time, and it's rather large, so I really had to psych myself up in order to read this, and luckily I'm teaming up with Julianne, one of my fellow bookish Brits in order to read this sort of this week and next week and I hope that I get like a good way through it because it's massive. Question number three was what was the last book you marked as to be read? And I had to check just now to make sure it was what it was and it's actually The Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williamson. And if you don't already know that for the last several years I've been trying to create a list on Goodreads about all of the UKYA being published in a particular year. So The Art of Being Normal is being published next year. Lisa Williamson is a British author who writes YA and so I marked that to be read in order to add it to my UKYA in 2015 list. I will leave the link to that down below so you can have a look. Question number four asks what book do you plan on reading next? I hate these sort of questions because as soon as as soon as I answer like something inside my brain clicks and it says nah we're not gonna do that just to be contrary but I'm really hoping to read two books along with the diviners next week and those are Sabriel by Garth Nix. I'm really excited. I love 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 this series. I love Garth Nix. I can't wait. I also really want to read, reread If I Stay by Gail Foreman in the off chance that I might see it at the cinema. Who knows? Question number five asks, do you use the star rating system? Yes, I do, but I find that it is horribly inaccurate. Like a lot of my four star reads are probably four and a half stars or maybe they're three and a half stars. So I find that I do use them, but I'm not happy to use them. I really wish they'd introduced half star ratings. Question number six asks, are you doing a 2014 reading challenge? Yes, I am. Earlier in the year, it started off as a lower number and I keep raising it. Currently, it's at 200 books. Um, at the time of filming this, I've read 144 books this year and I'm 10 books ahead of schedule. So if it carries on, then I will go over my challenge number this year. We'll see. Usually I read between 210 and 220 books a year, so Question number seven is, do you have a wish list? Yes, I do, but not on Goodreads, I'm afraid. I find it really tedious to keep all of these different lists going, and I really only update what I'm currently reading and what I've read in 2014 or whatever year. I don't 
add things to like my actual TBR lists or want to read or want to buy. No, none of that. <laughs> um, I have several lists at Amazon if you're really interested, which I don't think that you would be. I'll leave that down below. Question number eight asks, what book are you planning to buy next? I'm very moody when it comes to that sort of thing, so... Um, I had a look before filming this at my wish list, and the book that like, jumped out at me was Inheritance by Melinda Lowe, the sequel to Adaptation, which I'm really excited to read. So if I'm going out to buy a book, that might be one of them. Question number nine asks, do you have any favorite quotes? And I do, but they're like wildly out of date. Like one day I sat down and I was like, let's add some quotes to my Goodreads profile. And I added a couple of things from Harry Potter, and Frank's Diary, some Melina Marchetta, one or two John Green quotes, and I stuck them on there. But I don't think that they fully represent me or my favorite quotes because I find that really difficult like they're just they're not like quotes they don't really like stand out for me question number 10 is who are your favorite authors that's very easy for me I love Elizabeth Scott and Melina Marchetta I love Karen David and Kara Staten and Louisa Playa and John Green and loads and loads and loads of others. I probably forgot loads. Question number 11 is have you joined any groups? There are only three groups that I feel are important to mention. The first one is Hotkey Books is Old Kingdom read-along group which is just formed for the next few weeks. The Bookish Brits book club, I'd love to have you join us sometime and also the top five Wednesday. I can't really say that I participate very much in any of those three groups but I am members of those as well as a few others. And finally number 12 is, is there anything else that you would like to add? Not really, I think I've mentioned everything that I wanted to mention with my lists and my groups and everything else. But thank you again, Lydia, for tagging me in this tag. I'm not gonna tag anyone else unless any of my fellow bookish Brits would like to do this on our channel or any of their own personal channels. I'd love to watch that. If any of you are watching this and think, wow, that was a cool tag, but nobody's tagged me, then hear me, I'm tagging you. Leave a link down below. I will watch it if you film it. Thank you again so much for watching. I will see you next time.